can't eat oysters because of that. Oh, really? Yeah, I went to Galway during the oyster festival, didn't I? You had a heavy session on oysters, and, Guinness and, Guinness and, oysters. and it all went wrong after that, didn't well, it? Yeah, <laughs> leaning, over, leaning over Galway's port. Uh, oh, good God. Going up black. I <laughs> can't stand either of the two things That's now. That's it, yeah. Just never, and that was... Yeah. 30 years ago, you know? Crikey, <laughs> yeah. I had a similar, a similar thing in uh, Mexico with tequila. Uh, uh, and oh, just, awful, did, yeah. Oh, crikey, it was absolutely horrendous. <laughs> anyway, needless to say, seven years later, I haven't touched a drop. <laughs> <laughs> tequila, Forget it. it's one of yeah. those things as well, you can smell it from a mile away. It's horrendous. Yeah, you can, it's you like a paint stripper, huh? <laughs> this. Breakfast. Go so far as considering it famous. Just because the selection's endless. <laughs> Super important day today. The day is the day that I actually present live for Jaguar Racing during Formula E. Super excited, super nervous. It's gonna be live on Facebook, which at first sounds a little bit like, oh, it's only on Facebook, but Jaguar have one of the largest social media followings in the game, and they certainly have the largest social media following in Formula E. I think that their Facebook page for Jaguar cars is over four million people. So, so mildly daunting, but it should be pretty cool. Yeah, so again, we're gonna be rehearsing today. And then later on, we've got the actual live uh, show. So I'm going to be uh, co-presenting with Amanda, Amanda Stratton. It should be pretty cool. All right, it's go time. Let's head outside, hunt down our F-Pace taxi. So good having a driver. To hand, have to thank uh, Jaguar big time. Basically, the logistics of getting around Monaco, I've kind of taken for granted because typically I always have my own car here. But uh, we've got this awesome driver called Frank, who is just there, who is uh, yeah very kindly chauffeuring us all around Monte Carlo for the uh, next few days. Frank, how are you? All good. How have you been this morning? How's it going, man? Fine. All, all fine. good. All good. Yes, Fantastic. All good. The whole vast cavern of space. And there. Voila. Uh, do you know Daniel? I told you yesterday, he asked me. He said, uh, and I told him nicely. Because yeah. he, I said, uh, Daniel, I'm not a frog, so I don't know. He was like, what are you talking about? Huh? I said, because in France, and if you're not from here, you don't know, we use frogs as barometers. It is true, it's not a. Oh, thing. yeah. <laughs> so if they go up the scale, it's like yeah. it's gonna rain. And, you didn't know that, oh, of yeah, course. Yeah, it's, yeah, French, yeah, well, well. it's crazy, man. So it, is it 50-50? <laughs> so it's still 50-50. 50-50 chance of rain. Yeah. Okay, in at the deep end now. This is where uh, rehearsals start, things get real. Exciting though. Yeah. Actually, actually, the passes that I've got on today, I think they only get me so far. So I need to speak with uh, Dan from Jaguar to make sure we've got the right access and then it's game time. Okay. <laughs> in the pits. I've got about an hour to kill before uh, rehearsals and then ultimately we're going to end up live later on this afternoon. But let's just, let me show you around. This great thing about me having access like this is that as always I can immerse you guys in the experience of uh, everything I'm doing. Formula E right now, pretty pioneering sport. It's really new. I had the opportunity, if you were following my channel, last year to actually drive a Formula E car. Good morning from Battersea. It is race day and my first drive day. Thankfully, it's dry. First time in a Formula E car. The last thing we want is for me to go on track, spin it and bin it. You just need more time in this thing, just to learn the circuit. I mean, just sitting here in a 
hard right now. That is bloody brilliant. Ah, uh, things have evolved, man. Like, we have really developed since then. The cars are looking fantastic, too. Okay, so currently one of the things that makes Formula E unique is that halfway through a race, they actually swap drivers into a different car. This today is training for that driver swap. Check this out. It is getting humid here and I've got to keep the jacket on to look sort of smart cash. Anyway, next up I am doing a pre-recorded track walk with Amanda. Uh, it's basically something that uh, Jaguar are going to show before the race starts to give viewers an idea of what the Monaco circuit entails and why it's so crazy. Pretty much the fact that it has no runoff and it's super, super tight. Imagine, corner one. 20 cars, nose to nose, absolutely barreling it in. Anyway, I can't film during this take, so I'm gonna pass over to my trusty assistant. Say? Yeah. yeah, something like that. It's going well. It's going good. It's, uh, this is who makes the magic. Well. It's the first time I've actually held a mic as well. And normally I'm pointing this thing out at that me and it just does all of the work for me. But for this, we've got sound, two cameras, backup boom. Who's the boom for? Booms in boom. case the microphone fails. In, which, which it almost did. Yeah, exactly. so, right, cool. <laughs> Amanda Stretton and I'm your guide for the next 45 minutes because we're going to be taking you into the life of Panasonic Jaguar Racing. Guys, I am Mr. JWW. I'm co-presenting today. What is a day in the life of James Barkley all about? Three, two, one, go! One, go! Jaguar Design Director Ian Callum. The street racing, there's something really tangible about it. All right, Facebook Live session down. It's like 45 minutes of live just before you go on air your heart is about to explode out of your chest. And once you get into it, you just like zone out. And what, what was a 45, I think 45, 50 minute live stream? Felt like 10 minutes. It's crazy, but uh, yeah, massive thank you to Jaguar for having me uh, on the show. Super, super awesome. And uh, now we're going to a yacht party. Could be worse. on a silver super yacht. This has uh, very kindly been put on by Jaguar. Let me give you a quick look around here. Behold the innards of a super yacht. How's it going? Really good. Cool. Done a great job today. Thank you very well much, done. man. Cheers. Thanks for putting on this awesome yacht park. No. It could be worse. This is Panasonic it's Jaguar Racing it's Recharge it's wicked, in full man. effect. Yeah, it's Enjoy awesome. It. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> Members of the team here are so cool. Everyone's been super, super helpful, but uh, I can't come on a super yacht without giving you guys a tour. Lounge, check this out. It's a really, really cool lounge set up here. You know, as far as venues for parties go, imagine owning one of these. The parties you could throw are ridiculous, and also, you just so happen to have the coolest next door neighbors. Yeah, it's just yacht, 
after yard after yard. The other side as well is where the really big fancy stuff is, uh, particularly during F1. There's some serious yacht parties here. Check out this neighbor. He's got the biggest yacht, I think, in this row here. Super, super rad. I'll take you through to back deck. That's where everyone uh, sort of enters. And then I think you'll probably uh, take you upstairs. party went on a little bit longer than I expected. It is now 2 a.m. and I gotta be up again in the morning to do it all over again. I say all over again. I don't have to present live, which is uh, a relief, because today, like just the nerves and the adrenaline and excitement, it's been it's been amazing, but it's, it's been tiring. But tomorrow is race day, and I'm gonna be taking you guys along for behind the scenes action, as always. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time. Ciao.